Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter while working with local ASP.NET applications. Our viewer is facing a problem in Chrome where they can't access localhost without HTTPS. And when they try, they receive an error message stating, your connection is not private, followed by the code NET ER cert common name invalid. This issue has arisen after a recent Chrome update, but interestingly, it still works fine on Firefox and Internet Explorer. Let's dive into understanding this problem and explore some potential solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. If you're encountering the error, your connection is not private with the code NAR cert court common name invalid while trying to access localhost over HTTPS, it indicates a problem with the SSL certificate. This issue often arises because the SSL certificate is not valid for the localhost domain. To resolve this, you can create a self-signed certificate for your local development. To create a self-signed certificate using OpenSSL, open your command line and run the following commands. This will generate a new certificate and key. Once you have your certificate and key, configure your ASP.NET application to use them. In your project, update the launch settings.json file to include the paths to your certificate and key. Finally, restart your ASP.NET application and try accessing localhost again using HTTPS. You should no longer see the privacy error. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To bypass the Your Connection is Not Private warning in Google Chrome, you can try a couple of methods. First, you used to add a tag to the Chrome shortcut, but that no longer works. Instead, go to Chrome slash flags and search for Allow Invalid Certificates for Resources Loaded from Localhost. Enable this option and restart Chrome to temporarily bypass the warning. Remember, this change will only last until you disable the option again. For more detailed instructions, check the source link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the net ER cert common name invalid error, it might be due to changes in the RFC specification. One solution is to add the IP address, like 127.0.1, to the DNS property of your self-signed certificate. Using the .NET Core tool, you can generate a localhost certificate that only uses the name localhost. This is done with the command .NET Dev Certs HTS Trust. For more options, you can create self-signed certificates using PowerShell. Follow the latest syntax from the new self-signed certificate documentation to include both DNS and IP addresses. After generating the new certificate, remember to close and reopen Chrome to resolve the certificate error.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're seeing the error, your connection is not private net ursert common name invalid, it might be due to the Charles Web Debugging app. To fix this, you need to install the SSL proxy certificate for Charles. After installing, make sure to open Keychain Access and enable the certificate. Remember, if you're not using Charles, this solution won't apply to you. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the net ER cert common name invalid error, here's a solution. First, generate a self-signed certificate using Java's key tool. You'll need to specify the alias, key algorithm, and subject alternative names. Next, update Tomcat's server.xml file to include your key store details. Make sure to restart Tomcat after making these changes. After restarting Tomcat, open your local host in Chrome. You might see a not secure warning. Click on it, view the certificate, and export it as a CRT file. Finally, import the .CRT file into Chrome's Trusted Roots section in the settings. Make sure to check all boxes for the certificate. Restart Chrome to apply the changes. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In 2022, using HTTPS is essential for web applications. To avoid security warnings, you can get a free SSL certificate or create your own for local use. Popular sites for free SSL certificates include SSL for free, Let's Encrypt, and Zero SSL. For local applications, generate your own SSL certificate using OpenSSL. It's easy with the latest version. Once you master OpenSSL commands, you can apply them to other web projects. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.